thank you very much, Cardinal. Uh, I just want to say uh, I've just arrived from Rome with Region 1 from our Ad Limina visit. It was an extraordinary visit, and the uh, way that we were received in the dicasteries is so different. It's very fraternal, very user-friendly. We had wonderful uh, conversations. They were very anxious to hear about the situation in our country, to receive suggestions, and very anxious to be helpful. As uh, Cardinal Stella said, when the bishops used to come on Ad Limina visit to the dicasteries, they came with great fear. He said, now they come with no fear at all, and we're afraid. <laughs> Well, we were not uh, afraid to bring up the question of the report on Theodore McCarrick, and we insisted on the importance of publishing a response to the many serious questions uh, about this case. We made it clear uh, to Cardinal Parolin and the leadership of the Curia that the priests and the people of our country are anxious to receive the Holy See's explanation of this tragic situation how he could become an uh, archbishop and cardinal, who knew what and when. The long wait has resulted in great frustration on the part of bishops and our people, and indeed a very harsh and even cynical interpretation of the seeming silence. Cardinal Parolin has assured us that the intention was to publish the response before this November meeting. But the investigation has uh, involved various dioceses in the United States, as well as many offices in dicasteries of the Roman Curia. And a much larger corpus of information has emerged than was anticipated. There is a desire and a commitment to be thorough and transparent so, that, so as to answer people's questions and not simply create more questions. Uh, last week they showed me the hefty document that has been assembled. It is now being translated uh, into Italian and will be presented to the Holy Father. The intention is to publish the Holy See's response soon, if not before Christmas soon in the new year.